Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the diamond cable ear warmer. Uh, you can see it here in front of you. I also have my sample one here. This is a beautiful crochet ear warmer uh, that features these diamond shape cable patterns with this little bobble stitch nestled in between or in the center of the diamonds. This is an intermediate to experienced uh, crochet pattern simply because of these crochet cables that I have here. It's a fairly quick project though once you get the hang of the cables to work and uh, fairly straightforward. It's worked all as one piece and then is seamed down here at the back. The size we're going to work today is for an adult head, so ranging 20 to 22 inches. You can make it longer or shorter. It just depends on how long you work your piece before you work the seam. Today we're going to be using a worsted weight yarn. I'm using the Selkirk Worsted by Fleece and Harmony. This is a 100% uh, hand-dyed, minimally processed wool uh, dyed with an organic uh, yarn dye and this color that I'll be working today with is called November Sky uh, shown here in the photo uh, I've used a different gray pearl color. You'll also need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the written pattern which is on richtexturescrochet.com I'll have the direct link for you in this video. You will only need one skein of the Selkirk worsted weight yarn. There's about 200 yards in this yarn if you're uh, looking at how much you will need. So let's grab our hooks and yarn and, uh, and get started. As we get started here, I'd like to take a moment to invite you to take a look around here on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Uh, if you like this diamond cable ear warmer, you may also wish to check out the twisted cable ear warmer, which is also here on my channel. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. The pattern is worked in rows and we're going to be working across those sh that short end of it. So you're going to start by working a foundation chain and our foundation chain is going to be 20 chains. and 20. Once you have your 20 chains worked, you're going to begin by, with row one by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, you'll have a total of 19 stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and each stitch all the way across. Your chain one does not count as a crochet stitch in this pattern. So chain one, turn, half double crochet in that first stitch and each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you can chain one and turn your work. We're now going to get into the fun part and start working some of that cable pattern. So what we're going to do for row three is start by working a half double crochet into the first stitch. You're then going to work a front post triple stitch into the next stitch uh, two rows below. So really over the next stitch and into the next two rows below. So we have our first stitch two rows below and our second this is where we're going to work our front post triple. So yarn over twice in, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook from front through to back 
out through the front again around the post of the next stitch two rows below yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two more and yarn over and pull through two more that's your front post triple stitch you're going to work one more front post triple stitch around the post of the next stitch two rows below now back up top we've worked two stitches over uh, one stitch over each of the next two stitches so into our next stitch up top we're going to work a half double crochet and we're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches so there's three all together you're then going to skip the next four stitches and you're going to work one front post double treble over the next three stitches but again you're working in that row that's two rows below so if you're going to count from the bottom row you're going to skip a total of seven so there's one two three from before where you have your half double crochet stitches then you're going to skip your next four one two three four yarn over three times in and around the post of the next stitch two rows below work a front post double treble so you're yarning over three times then yarn over pull through two four times and you want to do that around the next three stitches so there's one yarn over three times insert my hook around the post of the next stitch two rows below there's two front post double trebles and three up top in your previous row you're going to skip those next three stitches because you've worked three more front post stitches and you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch now working over top of the last three stitches just worked and into each of the first three of your four skipped stitches two rows below you're going to work three more front post trebles so one around the post of each of the first three of the four skip stitches so count back one two three four that's our first skip stitch yarn over three times bring your hook back and insert your hook under the post of that first skip stitch yarn over and pull through two four times and then you're going to go and work another front post double treble around the post of the next skip stitch and one more time front post double treble around the post of the next skip stitch after you get this first row of cable stitches set up it's really much easier because you're always working into or around the posts of your front post stitches so it's just this one that involves a lot of counting so up top we're going to skip our next three one two three and then work a half double crochet in each of the next three stitches next front post triple stitch around the post of each of the next two stitches but again two rows below and finally you have one stitch remaining half double crochet into that final stitch that brings you to the end of your row three 
for row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to your cable stitches, sometimes I do find that some of the tops of them pull a little bit tight or they get twisted. So just make sure as you are working that you make sure uh, they are not twisted and also in the correct order. But half double crochet in each stitch across. For row five, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working cable stitches. You're going to start by working a half double crochet into your first stitch, followed by a front post triple stitch around the post of the next two front post stitches two rows below. So we're always working these front post triples and double trebles around the posts of the cable stitches. Up top, you're going to skip those next two stitches in behind your front post triples and half double crochet into your next stitch. Next, reaching down to your next three front post triple stitches, you're going to, or front post double trebles, you're going to work one front post double treble stitch around each of the posts of those next three stitches. So again, you're working around your front post stitches, yarn over three times, and work a front post double treble around each of the next three. Up top, you're going to skip the next three stitches in behind and then work one half double crochet stitch in each of the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Next, work one front post double treble around the posts of each of the next front post, three front post stitches, two rows below. So again, working around the front post stitches. Up top, skip the next three stitches and behind those front post stitches, half double crochet into the next stitch. Work one front post treble around each of the next two front post stitches, two rows below. And finish off with a half double crochet into your final stitch. This brings you to the end of row five. For row six, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work a half double crochet in the first stitch and in each of the next eight stitches. You're then going to work a bobble stitch in the next stitch. To work your bobble stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. 
yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that a total of five times. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. You will then have six loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all six loops. You're then going to work a half double crochet in each of the next nine stitches all the way across and your bobble stitch when you work these stitches should pop out to the other side which is the front side of your work. chain one and turn your work. For row seven you're going to begin by working a half double crochet into that first stitch, a front post treble, triple stitch around the posts of the next two front post stitches two rows below, Up top, skipping the two stitches behind your front post stitches, work a half double crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to work one front post double treble stitch around the posts of each of the next front post stitches two rows below. Up top, skip the next three stitches behind that, those front post trebles into each of the next five stitches, work one half double crochet stitch. Work one front post double treble stitch around the posts of each of the next front post stitches, three front post stitches, two rows below. Up top, skip the next three stitches and behind your front post stitches, work a half double crochet into the next stitch, work one front post treble around each of the next two front post stitches, two rows below. And finish off your row seven with a half double crochet into that final stitch. For row eight, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and then simply going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch, and half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. For row nine, chain one and turn your work. Half double crochet into your first stitch and work one front post triple stitch around the post of each of the next two front post stitches two rows below. Up top, skip the next two stitches in behind those two front post stitches and work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches.
You're then going to work one front post double treble stitch around the posts of each of the next three uh, front post stitches, two rows below, uh, it, on the other side of your bobble stitch. So we're skipping these first four stitches and reaching across and working our one front post double treble stitch in each of those next three front post stitches. So reaching all the way across. Up top, skip the next three stitches and work a half double crochet into that next stitch. Now working in front of the front post stitches we just worked, we're going to work one front post double treble stitch in each of the skipped front post stitches two rows below. So we're reaching all the way back and working a front post double treble stitch around the post of each of those skipped front post stitches. Up top, skip the next three stitches in behind the front post stitches, work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches, one front post triple stitch around the post of each of the next two front post stitches. And finish off with a half double crochet into your final stitch. For row 10, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then simply going to work one half double crochet into your first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. When you're working across, again, make sure that you are getting your stitches in the right order. I find these crossed treble, uh, front post treble stitches really like to twist on you. So just make sure that they're, they are in order and half double crochet across. At the end of your row 10, you can chain one and turn your work. And that's all there is for the repeat in this pattern. So from here on, you are going to repeat rows 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 until your work from the beginning uh, measures approximately 20 inches. At that time, you'll want to make sure when you reach 20 inches, you'll want to end off on a row, let me double check, row seven. So continue your repeats until you're close to that 20 inches. You'll then want to finish off on a row seven, and then you can meet me back here, and I'll show you how I joined the two sides of my ear warmer together. Once you have worked your ear warmer to about 20 inches or the desired length, now I've just worked a shorter piece here. Um, on my 20 
inch long sample one. I had nine of these bobble stitches just to give you an idea of how many times you need to do the repeat. You're then going to end on a row seven and you're then going to stitch the ear warmer together. So all I did to stitch mine was making sure the wrong, the right side was on the inside. I folded it over until my two ends met and chained one. I then simply worked a slip stitch across, working in each stitch, making sure not to skip any stitches. Uh, and uh, yeah, just worked a slip stitch. So through both thicknesses, all the way across. I'll work mine across and then I'll show you what it looked like when you're finished. If you wish, you could also just fasten off and sew it. It's really up to you as far as the kind of seam that you want down at the back. I was okay with a little bit of a seam showing, um, which is why I just did the slip stitch method. I also uh, enjoy just crocheting my ends together instead of having a lot of loose threads to tie in afterward. So just slip stitch across. Making sure that you don't skip stitches or work twice in any stitches. You really do want the stitches lined up on the other side. When you come all the way across, you can fasten off, weave in your ends, and turn your ear warmer inside out. And your diamond ear warmer is then complete. So that's all there is to working the diamond cable ear warmer. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again next time for another great free crochet pattern. If you happen to make this, feel free to tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media. I do love to come and admire your work. So I'll see you next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.